Hello and welcome to this part one of the series of tutorials for completing Cengage MindTap PowerPoint Module 3.4 SAM Capstone Project. I've already gone to uh, MindTap's website and downloaded all the files. There's four of them, the instructions, the start file, and two support files, and I have them already um, downloaded. I am using a Mac, but as far as I found, there are no differences uh, in the way this assignment will be done on Windows. So like I said, this is part one where we start. I don't know how many parts it'll take. We'll see. So let's get started. I already have the um, start file open and just like all Cengage MindTap um, assignments, the first thing I'm going to do is file save as on windows of course the file is a tab to the left of home but it has the same commands and all i will do is change the one to a two without changing anything else because that's the name it will um look for or require when i upload my assignment for grading save and now let's look at the rest of the um instructions. Uh, I've opened it. I've saved the underscore one as an underscore two. Uh, and I, you know, you ignore the extension because if your computer does not show extensions, it'll add it uh, automatically. I, I also made sure I download those two um, support files. And with that uh, start file still open, ensure that your first and last name are displayed in the presenter's notes on slide one. And slide one is right here. And here are the presenter's notes specifically created for me. Of course, for you, it'll have your name here, the way you registered for Sam MindTap. Don't change that. Even if they got it wrong, that's the name that will ex they will expect in your file. Um, now that concludes all the setup steps let's start the actual project steps um so the uh, cover story is that there's a detroit transportation department and they're setting up like a, a detroit bike share you can read this on your own let's start with actual things to do we will insert the audio they want like background music which is the support file that ends with the word music and it's an mp3 and we will start by doing that I'm on slide one and I'm going to insert and I'm going to find audio which is all the way to the right audio from file I'm going to browse and make sure that I'm using this one the one that was downloaded insert as it inserts it it also inserts an icon and they tell us to position that icon on the lower right of the slide so I'm going to grab it from the middle position it on the low right. They don't say exactly where, so I'm doing it by eye. The other thing they are telling us to do uh, is to fix the sound to loop until stopped. And this is one of the options of the sound, uh, which is right here, loop until stopped. It's going to be in the, when I select this icon, I'm gonna see a tab for audio format and playback. And this is a checkbox, uh, loop until um, stopped. And, uh, hide the sound icon so it does not appear during the slideshow. And the way to hide the icon is to check this checkbox called hide during show. So the audience does not get to see this icon. It just starts playing. Um, and I'm going to save and go for the next instruction. So I like to mark everything I've done with yellow like this. So I know I've done it. Um, instruction number two, on the title slide, format the title as word art using word out art style, fill black text color one show, which is the very first one, first column, first row to change the title apart from what happens. Now, when they're telling us to format the title as word art, there isn't really a button that formats. This is the title the title as a word art. We're basically gonna have to create a new word art based on this text. So I'm gonna highlight it because there's convert to smart art, but this is really where, you know, that's not what we're going for. We need to insert a new word art after we highlighted this and using that very first style, first column, first row, black text, color, shadow. When I click on it, it actually creates a new um, title with that word art style, which means now I'll have to do two things. I will have to take 
the original title, right click and cut, and it disappears. Sometimes you have to do it twice because it creates another placeholder. Right click, notice how I'm clicking on the edges to create it, to select it all. Right click and cut again. And now I have only this, which I can move in to become the new title. They're not telling us to change any of the, um, where to position it or to change uh, the font size or anything like that. All they're gonna look for is that instead of a title, you get a word art with the same words. Save. If there's a better way to do it, I haven't found it yet, but this is definitely one way to do it, and I tested it, and it gives me the points. Um, so that was number two. Number three, on the title slide, we're still on the title slide, improve, improve the appearance of the picture as follows. Correct the brightness and contrast uh, to use. Uh, uh, use the setting brightness plus 40, contrast minus 20, which can be found, this is the easy part, fifth column, second row in the section of corrections. Fifth column, second row. So I select the picture. I go to picture format and I go to corrections and I go to one, two, three, four, fifth column, second row, and I find brightness plus 40, contrast. Is it negative 40? Let's make sure I'm doing the right one. Oh, it's on the, it's only on the brightness contrast group, uh, only on the brightest co contrast section. So I, I was counting wrong. So corrections, and I'm not going to sharpen soft, I'm going to brighten, uh, brighten contrast, one, two, three, four, five, and then second row, which is, yep, the one they want, brightness plus 40, contrast minus 20, and it makes the picture look way better. Save. Next. That was 3A, let's do 3B. Soften the picture by 25%, which is in the soften effect, second column, first row. Same place, corrections, and sharpen, soften. I'm going to soften by 25%, this one, click. And it just softens up the picture so it doesn't look like harshly um, sharp too much. Next, uh, soften the picture. Yep, just did that. So we're done with step number three. Let's do step number four. On slide two, how it works, modify the background picture as follows to make the foreground content easier to read. So first of all, let's go to slide two. And it's definitely not very easy to read. So to change background, all I gotta do is find like an empty part of the background and right click on it and format background and a pane opens where I can um, select all kinds of things about the background. What do they want me to do? Um, change the transparency of the picture to, 25, uh, to 75%, and that is done right here. Instead of zero, I'm going to change the transparency to 75. I could use, you know, typing, I can use the steps and so on. So now it's still there, but you know, it can barely be seen. Uh, and the other thing they want me to change are the offsets. And they're saying to change all the offsets to zero. Let's read the language. Uh, change the offset top and bottom to zero because the other ones are already zero. So this one, zero, and this one, zero. It just makes sure that it's stretched evenly across the, um, the slide and save. And that was step number four. Step number five, uh, remaining on slide two, apply the same word art style to how it works as you did on slide one. So we're just gonna do the same thing. We're gonna take the title, how it works. We're going to go to insert word art and use the same style, the very first one. It creates a new one, which means we have to first cut the old one and sometimes we have to cut it twice to move the new one instead. It doesn't tell us where, so I'm gonna put it wherever I want. I can always look at the solution at the very bottom of your instructions to get a clue, like see if they want it pretty much like uh, close to the top left corner. So that's where I'm putting it. Um, and save. And before we're done with slide number two, remaining on slide number two, apply the same word. Yep, we just did that. 
With slide number two still displayed, insert a smart art as follows to illustrate how bike sharing works. So we're going to use the content placeholder to insert the accent process smart art from the process section to choose a smart art graphic um, dialog box. And here's what we're going to do. Um, there's a place, uh, uh, there's a uh, content placeholder, and what they want us to do is insert smart art, which is right here. And then we get uh, different types. So from process, we're going to use the one, I believe, which is this one, which is accent process. And it inserts six boxes, th six of them on the top, as uh, three of them on top and three of them below. Um, yeah accent process and then they want us to uh, type the following text into those shapes into the top three blue ones join write and return notice the capital letter in each one of them join write return join write and return by the way there's two ways to do this you can either click on the boxes or you can open this little drawer which shows you the text like you know here and this would just say return. And on the bottom boxes, they want reserve, get around, lock and go. Each one of them starting with a cap. Reserve, get around, lock and go. Reserve, get around. lock and go just make sure you pay attention to spelling because the bot that's grading your assignment is going to see a spelling error as simply the wrong text and save let's do one more step uh, we just did step number six Step number seven, remaining on slides two, modify the smart art as follows to add missing step and improve the clarity of the program. We're gonna add a new shape to the right of join. So the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna select join and we're going to go to, uh, is it under format? Let's see, smart art design. Um, yeah, add shape. Add shape after this one so it adds a new shape after this one then i'm going to open um, this there was actually another way of doing it let me undo i can also select join and um i believe if i use the plus it adds yeah another one right after that so either one would work let's see what they want us to do with that new uh, so we just added a new one after join. Uh, type checkout in the new blue shape and unlock in the white shape on this one. Now, in order for me to be able to type texting and I'm clicking and there's no text, what I need is to add way to add text is um see it doesn't let me edit text i right clicked on it edit text and the text they want is uh check out on this one so the way i uh entered editing text was by right clicking on the empty shape right click and edit text and check out and on the white one same thing right click edit text uh, which I believe exists on both Mac and Windows and the text they want is um, unlock let's see if this matches the final picture actually there's one more thing to do change the smart art style the whole smart idol 
uh, style to intense effect. So what I will do is click on the borderlines of the smart art to select it all. And under smart art styles, I would look for intense. I'll just roll over my mouse until it says simple, outline, subtle, moderate, intense. Here it is. And it changes the whole thing into the intense. And I will save and I will look at the final example of what a solution should look like. And yep, it pretty much looks like this. I can, you know, select this. This is in Word. And I can zoom in. Yep, it looks exactly like what I have. Check out, unlock. Cool. I will stop this part of the tutorial. We have just reached the end of step, let's see, I think number seven. Yep, and I will meet you at step eight in the next part.